हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ आवर इलेवंथ साइंस केमिस्ट्री सिलेबस एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन केमिस्ट्री इन एवरी डे लाइफ येस द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इट सेल्फ इंडिकेट ऑल केमिकल्स और ऑल मटेरियल्स ऑल कंपाउंड्स विच वी आर यूजिंग इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ दोज वी हैव टू स्टडी इन दिस चैप्टर basically this chapter is divided into total three parts first part is related with the quality food or nutrients present in food the second part is depend or based on the medicinal chemistry and the third part is dependent on the cleansing mechanism for example soap and detergent how they work how they clean anything so let us start the chapter this chapter we are studying in different way we are going to consider all the points all the activities present in the chapter simultaneously so the first activity provided in the chapter is can you recall here it is can you recall first question what are the components of balanced diet yes all of you know definitely the answer of this question what are the components of balanced diet those students who are studying biology they know the answer very well and those students who are not having biology subject still they are having the answer of this question with them because up to 10th only you had this knowledge carbohydrates proteins lipids that is fats and oils vitamins minerals and water these are the components of balanced diet second question is what is food cooked or why food cooked what is the difference in the physical states of uncooked and cooked food prashna khup sopa hai baka aplyala artha pan samajla hai aplyala uttar pan sangta yenar hai pan te aplyala proper language madhe explain karta ala pahije why is food cooked anna shijavnya chi garaj ka aste because food is cooked in order to make it easy to digest remember very well as you learned in surface chemistry chapter as particle size decreases its activity increases so actually the particle size of cooked food is very less or very fine particles are there as compared to the particles of uncooked food and therefore we can say that food cooked in order to make it easy to digest second point also the raw or uncooked food may contain harmful microorganisms which may cause illness cooking of food at high temperature kills most of these microorganisms and the third answer raw or uncooked food materials like dried pulses vegetables meat etc are hard and thus not easily chewable while while cooked food is soft and tender therefore easily chewable manjes kay cooked food having a particle size very small therefore they are easy to digest they are chewable and also as they are heated at high temperature at the time of cooking therefore all the kinds of microorganisms they get killed in those cooked foods now the third question is asked in your textbook is what are the chemicals that we come across in everyday life what are the chemicals that we come across in everyday life upon daily life madhe kon kontya chemical cha contact madhe yeto asa prashna vicharlela ahe ta baka purna divas bhara madhe sakali uthlya pasun tar ratri jhope paryant bharpur chemicals apan use karto detergents shampoos medicines various food flavors food colors etc are different types of chemicals that we come across in everyday life okay now let us start the actual part of the chapter basically introduction je ahe ya chapter cha te ya varsha sathi cut kelela ahe syllabus madhe pan tarhi apan ek 2 te 3 minute madhe te cover karuyat baka ikde chemistry is involved in a variety of life processes those occur within and across our body human civilization in different regions 
of the world discovered use of various plant animal and mineral products for benefits of human life within the advent of modern science scientists discovered structures of various constituent chemicals in natural materials what is explained here chemistry is having a great scope and importance in our day to day life whatever processes going inside the body as well as related across our body all these processes they require all the chemical materials only and hence chemistry is having a great importance in our day to day life synthetic organic chemistry has led to advancement in science synthesis of natural molecules of new mo and new molecules with structural variation revolutionized materials are used in all the walks of human life this influence is seen in all aspects of the basic needs such as food clothing shelter and beyond yes these are the basic needs of the human being food clothes shelter how chemistry is applicable in food all the types of nutrients like carbohydrate fat vitamin oil minerals enzymes nucleic acids lipids proteins etc etc all these are nothing but the chemical substances in case of clothing whatever cotton we are obtained from cotton plant on processing that cotton its strength increases and we convert that in a thread after processing threads will get formation of clothes with the help of different chemicals we are going to improve the strength of that cotton in this way clothing also requires the chemistry only shelter jithe tumhi rahata hai ja gharamadhe basun tumhi aata hai lecture aikta hai tya ghara gharacha bandkamasathi lagnara sagla material cement plastic wooden things wooden utensil kiwa wooden appliances kiwa walu khadi pani steel material he sagla kay ahe nothing but the chemistry only the chemistry okay this is all about the introduction now the next article basics of food chemistry food chemistry saglyanna kontehi padartha khayla khup avadtat aplyala saglyanna jevayla khup avadt khayla khup avadt kahi tari navin padartha apan nehmi try karto okay pan he je apan padartha khato he kontya quality se padartha apan khalle pahije कस ठरवाय कि फूड की क्वाटी चांगली है कि नहीं ये सग अपने आता चैप्टर मे स्टी करना सा मिल रहा है बगा बेसिक्स ऑफ फूड केमिस्ट्री फूड प्रोवाइड्स न्यूट्रिएंट्स दीज आर यूज बाय द बॉडी ऐज द सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी फार महत्वाच वाक्य है बगा फूड प्रोवाइड्स न्यूट्रिएंट्स दीज आर यूज बाय द बॉडी ऐज द सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी बॉडीला वर्क करना जी एनर्जी लगते ती एनर्जी कुछ मिलते तर सर्व प्रकार न्यूट्रिएंट्स पास मिलते कि जे न्यूट्रिएंट्स कशा मे प्रेजेंट आता फूड मटेरि प्रेजेंट आता दीज न्यूट्रिएंट्स ऑल्सो रेग्युलेट ग्रोथ मेन्टेन एंड रिपेयर बॉडी टिश्यूज काम का करता हे न्यूट्रिएंट्स ग्रोथ रेग्युलेट करता मेन्टेन पता बॉडी टिश्यूजला रिपेयर पता मोस्ट न्यूट्रिएंट्स आर ऑर्गैनिक मैक्रोमॉलिक्यूल्स proteins and carbohydrates are polymeric materials as a result of food digestion the polymeric proteins and carbohydrates ultimately break down into monomers namely alpha amino acids and glucose respectively under the influence of enzymes so with the help of enzymes different food materials they get digest for example if proteins are taken inside the body those proteins they digested and stored as in the form of alpha amino acids carbohydrates whenever get digested they break down and gives formation of glucose asha paddhatine tumhi ja prakarcha food material intake karnar ahat tya food material cha conversion body madhe gelyanantar tyancha breakdown houn simpler compounds madhe hot proteins and carbohydrates these are the complex compounds and they get break down into simpler compounds like amino acids and glucose respectively okay cooking makes food easy to digest apan attas thoda vela purvi charcha keli 
कुकिंग मेक्स फूड इजी टू डाइजेस्ट ड्यूरिंग द कुकिंग प्रोसेस हाई पॉलीमर्स ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स और प्रोटीन्स आर हाइड्रोलाइज टू स्मॉलर पॉलीमर्स द अनकुक्ड फूड मिक्सचर डिस्क्राइब्ड एज हेटेरोजिनस सस्पेंशन बिकम्स अ कोलॉयडल मैटर ऑन कुकिंग बिकॉज ऑफ स्मॉलर साइज ऑफ रिजल्टिंग कंस्टिट्यूएंट न्यूट्रिय मॉलिक्यूल्स कुक्ड फूड इज इजीयर टू डाइजेस्ट दैन द अनकुक्ड फूड आत्ताच अपन थोड़ा वेपूर्वी जी चर्चा के लिए होती तो चर्चेनुसार कुक्ड फूड इज ऑलवेज इजीयर टू डाइजेस्ट दैन द अनकुक्ड फूड बिकॉज ऑफ द पार्टिकल साइज ओके दिस इज ओनली एक्सप्लेन इन दिस पैरेग्राफ सो इन दिस वे फूड केमिस्ट्री इज हैविंग सच अ बेसिक नेचर हे सग बेसिक फूड केमिस्ट्रीच इतने एक्सप्लेन के लिए